Good morning, good night, or good evening, everyone. This is Lord Holland, and today we are bringing you Mutsu. Mutsu, a glass cannon with big ass guns. Oh, sorry. So, for economic boost, she gets literally the standard. There's nothing special about it. For armor wise, or survivability, armor wise, yes, sorry. 26 millimeter bow, so she is overmatchable by anything she'll face. Except. She'll bounce pretty much all ships, except for, oh, uh, I believe 15-inch guns in, well, West Virginia, 41. They are on basically the same point. They will basically go sit it out each other. Now, again, look at that. 26-millimeter armor all around, and then the superstructure, which burns. Then she gets the 70-millimeter deck armor, which is literally not much armor. Again, that's not going to help you. So, she is very squishy. And the Citadel, well, that is clear above the waterline. So, again, if you're going to try using these torps here, just be aware you may get Citadel and slapped. Because, yeah, you're going to get killed easily if you try to use those torps. So, if you use the torps, make sure you have the absolute advantage. Now, helpful... 58,400, not bad. 22% per, per cheetah, bleh, torpedo protection. Artillery is where it really gets, is where her main bread and butter is. 30 second reload, 18 second shell type, 38 second for 180 shift, 214 max dispersion, and 20 kilometer range. Max AP damage, and that's your bread and butter right there, is 12,000. You want to use AP in the ship. If you're using HE, then you're in a very desperate situation. But always AP, usually. Because these are 410s. These overmatch everything you'll face in Tier 6. So, Nagato guns, basically. And it is an A-hole uh, Nagato. So, AA. Don't expect to be bringing any AA to fight, please. Don't buy this ship for the AA. Um, tier 6 carriers will love you because they will just farm you to death. So keep that in mind. You're more of a second line heavy hitter battleship, punishing broadsides and battleships. So that's pretty much the whole gist of the ship. She's a class cannon, big ass guns that hit hard. Uh, with brisk and everything, she does about 30 knots, which can with both flag and brisk. She does over 30 knots. So we're talking a pretty fast battle cruiser. And 750 turning circle, 13 second rudder shift. Now, I don't run rudder module to reduce that because, like you saw, armor, she burns. So, you want to have the ability to protect yourself against fire. Or minimize it, at least, I should say. Concealment wise, 15 kilometers, even with the full concealment build, so even worse. So, keep that in mind. That's why she's more of a second range sniping battleship. But she will reward you. And she still works great in ops. If you have the ship, you know, take her out to ops and sometimes, and you'll see. She still works really well. Now, her recommended setup to really maximize her, um, of course, I would recommend gun feeder, brisk, adrenaline rush, and concealment. After that, it's pretty much like, you know, whatever you want. But if you're going to run the Jap, but if you, let's say it's your Japanese commander for your battleships, um, definitely grease the gears and uh, emergency repair expert because you're going to need that on Yamato, Azumo, Amagi, Nagato. You're going to need the you're going to need those two skills. So keep that in mind. Uh, after that, it's pretty much user preference. I mean, you can go for approved repair party specialist or readiness. That would be a good skill, or just go for the full sum of ability built here with repair specialist and base of survivability that would be another good s for you to pick up because you're going to need those later on i mean if you wanted to use super ap you can i mean you jump up to almost fourteen thousand damage and ap damage so it'd be really funny it'd just be a kind of a mean build so there's a lot of so there's a lot of fun ways you could run this ship so just keep that in mind well let's get into the replay version of it and then we'll see how mutsu does Hello, and welcome to the Mutsu Review. Now, Mutsu, really, well, 
glass cannon battleship. Like I said, she's a glass cannon. She has no armor. But she does get those four tens to four oh, I can't remember. I think it was four oh sixes, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's four oh six that you know Mutsu gets. But you know she has she has but you know for that tier tier six, like I said, she she's very overpowered. She's like West Virginia. They get tier seven guns. At tier six, so they overmatch everything they face. So you're so you're getting big firepower. Yeah, yeah. Mutsu gets four ten, same as Nagato. So these are Nagato guns. So yeah, Nagato guns at tier six, which overmatch everything. Everything, every battleship you're gonna face at tier six gets overmatched by these guns. So. Even the only, the best battleships like War Spite and Dunkirk, which can normally tank lower caliber shells, yeah, you can overmatch their bows with that. So you're getting a lot of overmatch potential. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Now I. Now, I honestly picked this ship up. If you like Congo, if you were a Congo fan, you know, you'll like the Mutsu. I mean, obviously, you know, Congo's a little bit faster. I do run brim and brisk on my Mutsu, so it does almost about 30 knots. About 26 point, 20, oh, sorry, not 26, 29.8, I believe, is the top speed. That's still pretty good speed. Now, you're going to use it now. Look up to my left. Now see, you know the DDs are going to drop corpse. And this New Orleans here. He just keeps driving straight. And I can't stop because I'm a battleship. Now he had every opportunity to stop. But he, you can look at his other ship. He was not, you know, pointing. And he's going to die. And I knew he was going to die when he hit me. I was like, oh, yeah, he's dead. One, yeah, he only took like a few torps and he died. Now, now that was the Massachusetts, and there, long the Met was like, wow. And he's like, thanks, bro. Makes me think of Devil when he gets mad. And they're like, two dead already. Now, usually that would be a bad thing, but, you know, we'll be okay. As you know, I'm taking my central position like I always do. And, you know, I get very beautiful dispersion. Double Citadel, 25,000 damage. So, really good damage. These guns hit hard. So, you don't have to worry about... You get Citadels in this thing. And they're just kind of... And the people that are mostly complaining are the clanless people. And they're just thinking, oh great, two dead already, we're going to lose. Mm, not lose. But people really give up. When two people go down, you know, on this op, you know, is it a bad sign? Yes. But it's not really end of the game. If you can get a few comp, like maybe two good competent players and operations, and there, there are some pretty non-competent players. Nice little 9, 9k salvo there. So I'm up to around 50, almost 50,000 damage. We're only at 3 4 minutes in. Not bad for a Mutsu. And I'm going for the key targets, the things that are going to burn down the airfield, which are the big cruisers. Yeah, and the long boy saying, cut me off and made, Mutsu cut me off and made me take three torps. Made you take three torps? No, 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 no. You had every, you know, right. You had every ability to stop. You just weren't looking. You were so busy on the DD that you weren't paying attention, buddy. Now remember, I overmatched that 
my Oku everywhere because of my 16 inch gun. So he has no armor against me. So I can just pin him everywhere on his armor. He can't do anything. We are going to lose the 9th Regiment. And we. And it's going to come close to the 3rd Regiment. And I was thinking, are we actually going to lose this? And you see that. I turn in because I'm like, um. It's. That's pretty damn close for a ram here, folks. Like, really close. But I'm close enough to where I can't... Now you get a lucky citadel. Now, see, there goes the 9th Regiment. And the 3rd Regiment is going down really quickly. Because the mass isn't pushing in. The DD's not really wanting to push in. So I'm thinking, crud. If this is going to be a defeat, then this... And, we, and I just had a bad team. And this is a beautiful op for Mutsu. But now the Anhold picks that up. I don't really know why he shot that. I guess he wanted damage. Now, six minutes in, 72,000 damage. That's pretty respectable damage for a tier six battleship. At, if you're in a tier eight, you know, you want to shoot for around 100 in the first six minutes at minimum. Now, we do save the regiment, and right there, we're good. We basically, at this point, just need to kill the airfields. The hardest part's over. And I've still got four heals left. Now, unlike Issei, Mutsu does not have great AA. That is one of the trade-offs, kind of like with West Virginia. They have hard-hitting guns, but they don't have, well, any to no AA. They can't defend themselves against carriers. So you will take carrier strikes. So if you pick these ships up, I am putting a CV beware disclaimer on these ships. They're really good ships for hard hitting guns if you want to have like hard hitting guns that just kill everything. And they're, you know, it's fairly accurate when RNG gives you them. The dispersion but there's no AA so you're not going to be defending yourself if you buy West Virginia and Mutsu keep be have a have a have a have a notice that you will be getting focused by CB so be aware of that. He does pick up natural selection, so good for him. I think I've actually played with Mr. Rainbow Runner before, so I think he knows me. He's, and you did see in the beginning of the chat, he was not one of the ones that did actually complain. I'm guessing because he knew we could still win. He just knew, knew he had to pull more of a share. So, but if he doesn't remember me, I don't remember if you do Rainbow Runner. We did a pretty good job on this match. Now I switch back to e and pop another heal. Because I want as much health going into this as possible. And, you know, up to 80,000 damage. Now, for, you know, a tier 6, you might be thinking, or, or the, for tier 6 thinking, oh, you're not going to be top. You're not going to be able to do much. Now, remember this. The same as in randoms when you're bottom tier and you get the XP multiplier. The exact same thing happens in operations. You can do very low damage and still manage to get top. I've seen some replays that I haven't posted from Deathwing sent to me that he's done 90,000 damage on Killer Well in a Bajoni. And he's still top of the team. And with like 90,000 damage. It's not so much your ship, it's how you use your ship in ops. If you use it aggressively and know the positioning, which I always stress on this channel, and positioning helps you a lot in competitive modes, rank, everything. If you have excellent positioning, you're going to come out on top, usually. But 
you see how I always put my ship in that middle position and always try to be at a good spot where I can use my guns at all times? I always pick that kind of positioning because I know it's what's going to save me. And you see the AA? There's just no AA on the ship. I'm not even getting much AA damage. You're just slowly ticking up. There's not much there. But I get really decent dispersion this match for a Mutso. Usually my dispersion's all over the place. But you'll see just how these torpedo bombers eat my health away. Like, and you can just see that there's not much for AA on this ship. Not much at all. So, that sucks. But the guns are fairly accurate. No Citadel, but still taking good, like, chunks off it. That's all you can really hope for in a tier 6. If you're not getting Citadels, but you're taking good chunks, you're doing a good job. If you can't go for Citadels in tier 6 ships, or tier 7, either one, you want to aim for chunk damage. And having a really good aim really helps too. Now right there, I get a nice 10k salvo. Just overpin, but these guns do good, do go, bleh, do go, do, 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 they do do good damage. Bleh, that was a tongue twister. Do do good damage. Now I decided not to shoot because I, the opposite has torps on, and there's really no point. I know my buddy Devil gets <laughs> annoyed when people shoot and he's gonna die. To his torp, so, so I just decided, you know what? He's already he's already had his torps out. I'm not gonna shoot because it takes a long time to reload. Now it's a good thing I do, and I wait. I get a 16,000k damo damage salvo on that. That's pretty good damage, and that was just chunk damage, no citadels. I'm up to 122,000. Now this is where the AA you real realize that the AA is just not existent. I can't do anything to these ships. So these bombers and torpedo bombers just come in. Like, I can't do anything. I didn't shoot anything down. And I take three torps. Like, that's like 10,000 damage. So I'm lucky the AP bombers didn't come for me. All stations. And here comes another wave of torpedo bombers. So I'm thinking, crud. So I, if anything, I'm shooting down the planes. I'm, I can't. I'm not shooting down planes that I should be shooting down. I'm shooting down everything I don't. And I take four torps. For three torps. That's 13,000 damage gone. And if this, if this next bomb wave hits me, I'm dead. What a sad end to an op if you get killed by aircraft, huh? Fortunately, he's going the long way. So he's coming within range of the CV and everything, so I, the AA is going to start working in it. And you can see, yep, he's coming in to kill me now. But you see, he, since he's went the long way around, the AA picks him up. So I live. But if he had taken the shorter way, I would have been dead. Attention. Reporting the target position. Acknowledged. And boom, right there. It's almost 17,000 damage. Two Citadels. Destroyed. These guns hit hard, and they will hit. Now I'm up to 150,000 damage for a tier 6. Now, Cherry Blossom is one of the best pops you can have for a tier 6 ship, along with Narai. Because it's there, because all the ships are fairly, you know, even as far as what's going to happen. And I get another Citadel, 12,000. Up to 162,000. That's pretty good damage for a tier 6. Reporting the position of a strategic target. And we've got one airfield down, the other one's gonna go down, so there's very and we have five minutes to take it out, so the odds of us losing this op are, are pretty much gone. And you know, they were complaining, you know, oh we're gonna lose our we're gonna lose because we lost two ships. No 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 no. I aim too high. I could have had that cruiser if I had aimed lower, but it's whatever. And the airfield is gonna go down. So, great, we've won, but 
now the question is, can I kill this guy before the time ends? But he keeps turning back in. And you see, oh shit, Torp. But it runs out just before, so I'm like lucky. But 168,000 damage. That's very respectable for a tier 6. And you see just how strong the Mutsu's guns are.